This presentation is part of a series for incoming solar installers and trainers. It is intended as a general overview and pausing and rewatching is encouraged. This particular presentation covers the solar accreditation process that all installers are required to complete. To start with, you need to get your provisional accreditation. You do this by completing the applicable training at an RTO and following the instructions on the solar accreditation website. The final step in applying for your provisional accreditation is reading the Clean Energy Council's Terms and Conditions and the Clean Energy Council's Code of Conduct. Then you upload your electrical licence, your Working at Heights card and some other required documentation. And after some processing at our end, you get your provisional accreditation. As a provisional installer, you will get a Clean Energy Council accreditation number, which allows you to claim government incentives in the form of STCs. This will only be valid for three months or until you upgrade to a full accreditation. At the same time, you get a login and password which give you access to the installer section of the website. Before your provisional accreditation expires, you need to complete the accreditation assessment. This assessment can take a while, so don't leave it to the last minute. To start the process of upgrading to a full accreditation, you click on the installer tab at the top toolbar and then you click on the Apply for Accreditation tab. Then you follow the links to get you to the assessment page. You will need your username and password ready if you haven't already signed in. The Clean Energy Council uses the accreditation assessment to ensure that new installers have understood their training and are competent to install solar. With that in mind, we've split the accreditation assessment into three parts. One, fundamental theory. Two, system design and three, the practical assessment. If you are applying for Grid Connect Design and Install accreditation, you will need to complete all three assessments. If you are applying for design only or an install only accreditation, you will need to complete the fundamental theory assessment and other relevant assessments. Either way, your assessment page will be automatically populated based on your accreditation type, so you really just need to follow the links. This is what your assessments page would look like if you're applying for a full design and install grid connected solar accreditation. The fundamental theory assessment and the design assessments are online exams, so you can start them whenever you would like. We advise that you do this as soon as possible, that way you have time on your side and you can be sure that the way you install your first job is compliant. Once the exams have been passed, the status will show them as being completed. Let's look at each assessment a little more closely. You will need a copy of the relevant standards and guidelines to complete the fundamental theory exam. You will not be able to pass the exam without them. For grid connected installers, these standards are 5033, which is the standard that covers the install from the solar panel to the inverter, and 4777, which is the standard about connecting the inverter to the grid. You will also need the Clean Energy Council's Install and Supervise Guidelines, which are free to download at the Compliance and Standards tab in the Installer page of our website. Remember, it is mandatory to follow these guidelines as a Clean Energy Council accredited designer and installer. When you have your standards and guidelines ready, you can follow the link to the exam. The exams are multiple choice, you do not need to finish them straight away. If you do need to close a browser, you can reopen it by signing back into the installer section of the website and following the links on the assessments page. When you get back to the exam, you can keep on going from the question you are up to. You have 28 days to complete each exam session and you have unlimited attempts at passing it. The only limit you have is the three months of your provisional accreditation. This counter tells you how many days you have left before your provisional accreditation expires. The design assessment has two shorter exams that work in the same way as the theory assessment. The practical assessment lets the Clean Energy Council look at the quality of your work. You need to physically install a job and supply the CEC with photos and documentation of this installation so that we can check your work is compliant and up to scratch. Keep in mind this is supposed to be an example of your best work. Before you go to site, download the required paperwork to complete the assessment. You will need to choose the type of system you are installing. In this case, we are installing a standard solar system with a string inverter. So we pick the middle option. 
you will get the practical assessment application pack to print and it needs to be completed on the job. The pack contains some basic instructions. For example, all your photos and documentation need to be from the same job. Also, make sure you have completed and signed off on all the work yourself. In short, read the instructions before you start to save a lot of time and effort. Once you fill in your details and the customer's details, you have two parts to complete. You need to see the details of the inverter, the panels and the DC isolator that you've installed. The model numbers need to be exact, as shown on the nameplates of the products you are installing. Then you take the photos of your job. In this case, there are 11 photos to take. Here is an example of the first three photos. We need to be able to read the nameplates of each product. You need to take a broad view of the panels, the inverters and the switchboard. And you also need a shot of the DC reticulation in the roof. You need to show us how the solar brackets are connected to the roofing structure, how you have sealed your penetration through the roof, the multi-hole gland you have used to ensure your DC isolator is IP55 rated, and a picture of the DC isolator including the secondary shield that protects it from direct exposure from the rain and sun. Make sure these photos are clear and that they give the CEC assessor some perspective. This way we can easily see that you are competent to install solar. You also need to provide the relevant commissioning checklists and certificate of compliance for the job. And lastly, we need to see a planned view of the house with the location of the panels, inverters and wiring run. This can be a sketch if you don't have access to satellite images. Once you have your photos and documentation together, you can submit the practical assessment here. Then one of our assessors will look at it within four weeks. During this period, your status will be shown as pending until you have passed. With the assessments complete, you can follow the link to upgrade to a full accreditation. At this point, you will need to pay your fees and prove your insurance and your electrical license are still valid. And on approval, you will be granted full accreditation. As always, if you have any questions, you can email us or call us using the details on the screen. Thanks for listening.